Hi and welcome viewers of Nursing Academy 101. Today we are going to take a quick overview of the top 20 recurrent and important interview questions for a registered nurse along with sample answers. But before we start, please do not forget to subscribe, like and share the channel to encourage us to continue and provide you with all new. Question 1. Why did you choose to become a registered nurse? Answer. I chose to become a registered nurse because I have always had a strong desire to help others and make a positive impact on their lives. Nursing allows me to combine my passion for science and compassion for people, making it a rewarding and fulfilling career choice. Question 2. What do you find most rewarding about being a nurse? Answer. The most rewarding aspect of being a nurse is seeing patients recover and improve their health. Being able to support and advocate for patients during their most vulnerable moments brings a sense of fulfillment and purpose to my work. Question 3. How do you handle a situation where a patient or family member is dissatisfied with their care? Answer. When dealing with dissatisfied patients or family members, I first listen attentively to their concerns and validate their feelings. I then address their issues with empathy and try to find a solution together. If needed, I involve the healthcare team and management to ensure we provide the best possible care and experience. Question 4. Describe a challenging patient care situation you've encountered and how you managed it. Answer. I once had a patient with severe anxiety about medical procedures. To address this, I spent extra time explaining the procedure step by step. Provided emotional support, and collaborated with the patient's doctor to use appropriate pain management techniques. By establishing trust and understanding, we were able to complete the procedure successfully. Question 5. How do you stay updated on evidence-based nursing practices and new medical technologies? Answer. I prioritize continuing education and participate in workshops, seminars, and online courses to stay informed about the latest nursing practices and medical advancements. Additionally, I regularly consult reputable medical journals and collaborate with my colleagues to exchange knowledge and experiences. Question 6. How do you prioritize tasks and manage your time effectively during a busy shift? Answer. In a recent case, we had a critically ill patient who required multiple interventions simultaneously. As a team, we communicated efficiently, each member playing a vital role in the patient's care. Our collaboration resulted in a successful recovery for the patient, and it reinforced the importance of teamwork in delivering quality care. Question 7. How do you handle stressful situations and maintain composure under pressure? Answer. During stressful situations, I rely on my ability to stay focused and composed. I take deep breaths to calm myself and prioritize tasks to address the most critical needs first. I also seek support from my colleagues if needed, as we are all part of a supportive team. Question 8. What measures do you take to ensure patient safety and prevent medical errors? Answer. Patient safety is a top priority for me. I follow strict protocols, double-check medications and treatments, and utilize technology for accurate documentation. I also communicate effectively with the healthcare team and encourage a culture of open reporting to identify and address potential risks. Question 9. How do you handle conflicts or disagreements with other healthcare professionals? Answer. Open and respectful communication is crucial in resolving conflicts. When disagreements arise, I address the issue privately and professionally. I actively listen to the other person's perspective, find common ground, and work together towards a solution that benefits the patient and the team. Question 10. Describe your experience in educating patients and their families about their health conditions and treatment plans. Answer. As a nurse, patient education is an integral part of my role. I take the time to explain medical conditions and treatment options in simple terms, ensuring patients and their families have a clear understanding. I encourage them to ask questions and provide written materials or resources to support their learning. Question 11. 
How do you handle situations where you feel overwhelmed with your workload? Answer. When I feel overwhelmed, I take a moment to prioritize tasks and seek help if necessary. I believe in the importance of teamwork and am not hesitant to ask for assistance from colleagues or supervisors. By delegating appropriately, we can work together to provide the best care for our patients. Question 12. Tell us about a time when you had to advocate for a patient's needs or rights. Answer. I once had a patient who was not receiving the appropriate pain management they needed. After assessing their condition and advocating for them with the healthcare team, we were able to adjust the pain management plan, resulting in improved comfort and better overall care for the patient. Question 13. How do you ensure your interactions with patients are culturally sensitive and respectful? Answer. I respect and value cultural diversity, and I approach each patient with an open mind and empathy. I take the time to learn about their cultural beliefs and preferences and incorporate that knowledge into their care plan. By doing so, I can provide personalized and culturally sensitive care. Question 14. Tell us about a situation where you had to think critically to make an important patient care decision. Answer. During a code blue situation, I had to quickly assess the patient's condition, interpret vital signs, and coordinate with the resuscitation team. By applying my critical thinking skills, I made prompt decisions that were crucial in stabilizing the patient until the doctor arrived. Question 15. How do you maintain your nursing skills and stay proficient in various procedures? Answer. I understand the importance of maintaining my nursing skills. I regularly participate in skill labs and simulations to practice various procedures. Additionally, I seek opportunities to assist in complex cases or work with specialized units to expand my knowledge and expertise. Question 16. How do you handle end-of-life care situations and support patients and their families during this difficult time? Answer. End-of-life care requires sensitivity and compassion. I approach these situations with empathy and provide emotional support to both the patient and their family. I ensure their wishes and preferences are respected, and I facilitate open communication to address any concerns or needs. Question 17. Tell us about a time when you made a mistake and how you handled it. Answer. As a nurse, I understand that mistakes can happen, but it's crucial to take responsibility and learn from them. When I made a medication error, I immediately informed my supervisor, documented the incident, and apologized to the patient. I used this experience as a valuable lesson to be more vigilant and double-check my work. Question 18. How do you handle the emotional toll that can come with nursing? Answer. Nursing can be emotionally challenging, but I believe in the significance of self-care. I engage in activities that help me relax and decompress, such as exercising, spending time with loved ones, and pursuing hobbies. Taking care of my emotional well-being enables me to be a more effective and compassionate nurse. Question 19. Where do you see yourself in your nursing career in the next five years? Answer. In the next five years, I envision myself growing professionally as a nurse. I hope to pursue further education and certifications to specialize in a specific area of nursing. Ultimately, I aspire to become a nursing leader, making a broader impact on patient care and the nursing profession. Question 20. How do you handle the challenges of working with a diverse healthcare team with different communication styles and backgrounds? Answer. Working with a diverse healthcare team is enriching but can pose communication challenges. I actively listen, seek to understand different perspectives, and adapt my communication style to ensure clear and respectful interactions. Emphasizing teamwork and recognizing the unique contributions of each team member foster a collaborative work environment.